All right, our task is to figure out basically what is the minimum amount of material or surface area that's going to be required to build this can that contains 355 milliliters, which is also 355 cubic centimeters. So we know the volume of this here. The volume is 355 milliliters, and the volume of any cylinder is the area of the base, pi r squared, because it's circle, times height. So what we really have here is 355 is pi r squared h. Now, if you really think about how this cylinder breaks down, you've got a circle on the top, you'll have a circle on the bottom, and then what you're going to have is, when you unwrap it, really kind of... Um, one kind of long rectangle, okay, which will wrap around each of these circles. So you have something like this for the surface area. And what that means is the top circle has an area of pi r squared because it's a circle. The bottom circle is going to be the same pi r squared. Now it's just a matter of figuring out what the relationship between the rectangle, this rectangle here, and this can. Well, you can see if I unwrap it, the height of the can is going to be the same as this here. So I'm going to use h to represent the height of the rectangle. And then this distance right here is basically going to be how we wrap the can around, how the rectangle is going to wrap around the can. So you can see that as I go around this circle, this edge here would wrap right around there. Well, that's one circumference of that circle. So that circumference is going to be measure, measured by 2 pi r, which makes the area of this rectangle 2 pi r h. So now what we can do is write an expression for the surface area. Let's use s for surface area. So we have two circles. That's 2 times pi r squared. And then this rectangle which is 2 pi r h. Now what I'd like to do is get one expression, uh, excuse me, an expression with just one variable r. So what we're going to do is solve this volume formula, 355 over pi r squared. If we solve that for h, we get 355 over pi r squared. That is h. Now we can do some substitution. So taking this h and putting it in here, what we're going to get now for s is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r, and it's going to be 355 over pi r squared. All right? Now, let's do a little simplification here. So surface area is going to be 2 pi r squared. Then one of these pi's is going to cancel, and one of the r's is going to cancel. The 2 times 355 is 710, and you're going to have one r in the denominator. So I'm going to have surface area is 2 pi r squared plus 710 r to the negative 1. Now, remember our task here is to try to minimize s. So in order to minimize s, we're going to need a derivative and we're looking for an R that will produce an absolute minimum for surface area. So let's go ahead and do a derivative. And we'll use S prime for the derivative. And I'm going to get 4 pi R. And then over here, I'm going to get negative 710 R to the negative 2. I'm going to rewrite this as a fraction just so I can get a sense of how to simplify it. So it's minus 710 over R squared. If I get a common denominator of r squared, um, what I'm going to have to do is multiply this by r squared over r squared. That's allowed, because that r squared over r squared is just 1. So what I get is s prime is equal to 4 pi r cubed minus 710 all over r squared. Thinking about critical values of this, the denominator could be 0 if r is 0, so technically r equals 0 is a critical value. But if you think about it, it doesn't really make sense for 
the radius of this can to be zero. Um, and that leaves the possibility that the numerator is zero. So what I'm going to do is take 4 pi r cubed minus 710 and set that equal to zero. And what that leaves is r cubed is 710 over 4 pi. This makes r equal to the cubed root of 710 over 4 pi. Now let's go to our calculator to do that. Cube root of that is, let's see, I'm going to use a browser calculator. So 710 divided by 4 pi, all of that raised to the 1 third, and we get 3.837, um, 3.837, so I think 3.837, we'll use that. So R is approximately 3.837, and that's in centimeters. And now we're going to think about analyzing this as a critical value. So if you think about what R could be, um, the smallest R I can think of is zero. That was also actually a critical value um, for, for S. And we'll analyze S prime from zero to 3.837. Now, um, there's no other critical value, actually. Um, can't be negative. It's just, it's just one answer. So that's going to go on and on forever. Actually, that's okay. R could go, you could have an, an enormously wide uh, soda can, potentially. So we're going to see if this, in fact, is a minimum. So what I'm going to do is figure out by plugging in a value like 1, which is in the interval between 0 and 3.83, into my S prime just to make sure, see what sign I get for S prime. All right, back up here to S prime, and what we're going to do is plug in 1, and I'm thinking that when you plug 1 into R cubed, that's going to be 1, and 4 pi is about 12 times 1, so a little more than 12, minus 7, 10, that's going to be negative for the numerator. So you have a negative numerator. The denominator is always positive because it's squared. So I'm thinking that S prime is definitely going to be negative between 0 and 3.837. It's going to be 0 right at that moment. And you can think about plugging in enormous numbers, something in the thousands, for instance. Well, plugging in something into the thousands into S prime is going to give us just a huge number here when I cube that 1,000 minus 7, 10. It's still going to be positive in the numerator. As we said before, the denominator is still po positive. So positive divided by positive is a positive, and you're going to get this here. So since S prime changes from negative to positive at 3.87 for R, that means that S of 3.837 is a min. All right, and it's the only min, so it's also the absolute min. So we've just proved that can manufacturers should really make the radius of about 3.837 centimeters. Um, so that minimizes the surface area. For a can of 355 milliliters. Okay. Um, now you might want to ask yourself, well, what's the what's the height going to be? So if you think about that, well, the height is a function we had way back up here. Probably one of the first things we did was we calculated height to be 355 over pi r squared. So if I take 355 over pi r squared. Work that through. H is 355 over pi r squared. And I know r is this 3.87 business, uh, a37, excuse me. If divided by pi divided by, or I'll put this in parentheses, pi times, paste that in to the second, and we'll get something like this. 7.675 for the height. 7.675 for the height, seven point six seven five, and that's centimeters. 
So you have the height and you have the radius of a can that will minimize, get the minimum amount of surface area for that height and radius. Now it's up to you to see if the manufacturers actually use those dimensions. So go out and grab your favorite 355 milliliter can of soda or actually also 12 ounces and see if they've done it, their job.